Leaders in the pits, so they've missed the start. Oh. Well, the green flag is away, Jay. And away we go for the International Majors Bathurst 1000. And it's going to be the Evolution Racing Team 027 leading the way into Whoa. turn one. Oh, Big there slide we there go. from uh, Kyle Stokes in the lead. Oh, Australian yeah. Online Supercar Championship Enduro. They're going to go side by side into Griffin's Bend on this first lap. Yeah, they certainly are, and it looks like uh, Harlow is... Oh, he's almost pushing it, but he's going to have to yield through the mid-corner. Bit of a slide from the triple two. One, but we're through lap one with no major incidents, which is always great to see in a Bathurst 1000. On screen, Sean Thompson. Very, very it's going to be one of those places where you certainly just... Side-by-side -side action coming in to L corner. Joseph Cardamone through on Darren Cartwright in the CMR Green entry. Now, Katie Rose Toronto trying to come back through with the big drag race up Mountain Straight. And it's amazing how uphill that stretch is from the base of the mountain on the front straight up the hill, especially when you come out of Griffin's Bend here. The elevation here, very, very deceptive in sim, even in a car. But once you walk it, you know how steep that is, don't you, Rose? Moved on into the chase. So the number 46 car, one of my favourite liveries on a V8 supercar. The cars that Guy Leach always seems to have with these Valentino Rossi inspired liveries. The Valentino inspired helmet all looks really, really cool for Guy Leach. And uh, so always a fan favourite livery as well as Kyle Stokes punches out yet another fastest lap of the race. Yes, indeed. 027 on fire right now. And Guy Leach uh, doing well as well, having made his way now up into P5. That CMR Team Black car, though, Craig Jones. Well, 2062 on the last lap, 2050 from Guy Leach. Looks like Leach definitely has the measure here, and we might see him creep up onto the back of this um, battle for third and fourth very, very soon. Every chance of that happening is also got a car around in the background. And that is the undercar racing team entry march as well. Oh, big moment there for Tim Classens. He's starting to close up that gap to Daryl Hockey ahead. Net into 1.6 seconds. Last lap by 1.2 seconds quicker was Classens from Daryl Hockey. So I think we might see a move done in the next lap, lap and a half as uh, Hockey's just gone by... That's Andreas Robertson, yeah, the undercut. Yeah. Good to see those guys still going. Already been in for an engine change, a 24-minute pit stop. They've gone back out. They're 15 laps down, but as we said before, to finish a Bathurst 1000 is a huge achievement. So good to see these guys continuing to push on. They keep pushing on. They're going to find themselves right up the field because there's a lot of guys that will be out of the race by the time we get towards the end of it. As uh, Matt Morris gets back into the velocity car, so no real surprise that there's been a driver swap and a, and a pit stop for those guys because... That car did not look very, very fun to drive. No, it certainly didn't. So we'll see what Matt Morris can do in this stint. Obviously, he seems to be the, the pacier of the two guys in that car. So this is probably a good time to put him back in. Tim Classens, on the other hand, he's uh, up behind the undercar machine. And that's a very awkward spot right there. Classens does have quite a bit of pace here across the top. He's trying... Oh, oh no, the CMR car. Yeah, it's in the wall there at Forest Elbow. So that is the position there for Classens. You won't have to worry so much about getting past the uh, the triple three. So we're going to have a look at what happened to Hockey here, Jay. And uh, it just seems to me like, once again, it's a case of locking the car, locking the wheels up, and right into the wall. It's just another case of someone over overdriving the car a tiny little bit. Got on the brakes. Actually locked the brakes coming through the, the first part, the kink, uh, coming into Forest Elbow, and it sort of propelled the car around into the wall. So unlucky there for hockey, unlucky for the CMR team. They'll be able to get the car back running again, but that's uh, not what they would have wanted, and it's going to mix up their pit strategy as well. It's uh, unfortunate for hockey. He was doing a very, very good job. Didn't quite have the pace of the guys around him, but they were on an alternate strategy and had been moving forward. So disappointing for those guys. Yeah, and they've gone straight into the pits to uh, get that thing repaired. Get the first back. motorsport event was a hill climb. It went up from, uh, uh, I think, Hell Corner up to Reed Park through the cutting. And uh, that is still a round of the New South Wales Hill Climb Championship to this day.
done very well in terms of positions here. They are in the top five. I will just uh, point out, having started in 24th position. But Travis Henderson still holding on to position seven as Harlow continues to sit in the pits in the triple two. Got a few battles starting to unfold out on the circuit as well. 24 and 010 both fairly close at the moment, about two seconds separating these two cars. So start to see these two cars start to close up as well. The pace difference is fairly different between these two cars. Yeah, that's exactly right. But of course, around a track like Bathurst, it's uh, definitely hard to make that pace difference work, especially if you're the faster car behind. So I got a message from Ira in the uh, CMR Team Green entry earlier on. And, uh, their plan for the entire race was just to finish. If they could finish ahead of where they started, they would be more than happy with that. Well, they started in 31st. We're in the 14th now, so I'm pretty sure they're happy with how it's going so far. The plan's working. Yeah, definitely. They are, they are four laps down, but still running in the top 15, which is good to see. Just noticing uh, Spencer Whitelaw letting uh, the talk the race at Knoxville a couple of rounds ago so Ken's done a pretty good job throughout the major series so we are on lap 116 and 161 45 to go no intense battles going on out of track at the moment and, uh, again no one guessed what's going on with uh, Vance and Line I think it was all just doggo talk, talk for the most part there as we Look at uh, two CMR cars still going out on track, which is good to see. It's also still got the two Torque Freak racing cars going out on track. With the two Velocity cars still going out on track. They got one of the Middle Finger racing cars still going. We've still got two Dog Bear cars. So uh, good to see a whole heap of uh, different teams, cars, drivers out there and, and a really mixed up feel from where we started this race. Plus 21 at the moment for the Delta Force Racing 664 car. The green car also still going there. 23 laps down. Uh, it won't be long before they gain two positions because they're going to pass a couple of cars that are currently stuck in the pits. Yes, indeed. So Nick Kuhn there under a lot of pressure from the Triple One machine. At the wheel of that one, Craig Jones. And... Uh, CMR as he makes his way past they're uh, quite a few laps ahead around uh, 7 or 8 but once again those uh, those guys really uh, sticking it out towards the end yeah great to see all these guys continuing on it's been a tough old slog for quite a few teams but uh, as we've been saying throughout this race to finish a Bathurst 1000 is a huge achievement uh, so many of these teams at, at the moment are going to feel so overjoyed even if they are 40 laps down, 50 laps down doesn't matter, you've crossed the finish line you can receive the chequered flag which is better than almost half of the field at the moment, we've got at 38 entries we've still got uh, 20 cars going so nearly half the field is out of the race at this present stage, that's including the cars that are currently in the pits getting damage fixed but, uh, great to see so many cars continuing on and, and fighting all the way to the end. It's uh, a tough as slog. As we saw you... before, it's never over until it's over. As we just go to the undercar number 37, Ryan Hallier is closed up right on the back of the CMR green car. Yeah, certainly has. And um, this is for position. Both of these cars are 12 laps down on the race leader but fighting for 13th and 14th. The undercar uh, machine is where they started, but now they are a position ahead as the CMR car obviously thought it pertinent to let them go down the straight. So 
Undycar are now plus one on their starting position. At the moment, Gerardo, so seven tenths of a second quicker. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, looking quite quick, is Brett. And of course, behind them, 017, you see uh, Brian Borg, or Jason Bentz, sorry, I believe is at the wheel of that machine, making his way past another car. Well, I have to let they, they may someone. have to change. They may have to change the shifting controls around for me. Oh, though. yes, they will have to do that, but uh, I'm sure they will do that for you. I think we need to have a commentator's race. Yeah, that would Bef definitely before, be a good before idea. Before the, uh, the whole event actually starts, we need a commentator's race. We'll uh, talk to, uh, to our friends at Modem Simulations and, and get that sorted and uh, even see if we can record it for a, a bit of a laughter in the middle of our broadcast over the uh, the Saturday event. Have a look at the gap between Dogbear and Valkyrie now. It is two seconds. And have a look at Thompson applying pressure mm -hmm. at the moment to Darren Cartwright in the CMR green entry. Yeah, it's right on his bumper. Is he going to go for the move at the elbow? Oh, not around the outside. Don't do that. Oh. Well, it's over under. Possibility, maybe. Well, he's going to get the run. He is through quite easily. So there we are. Thompson has 19th position in his sight. Now a second separating these two cars and he's gaining and the gap is dropping. Dropping quickly, the pace difference. He is through quite easily, so... Delta Force Racing 664 in eighth with Kinetic Racing with uh, Cardamone and King finishing in ninth. Those guys will be over the moon with that. Talk Freak Racing Skyline finish in 10th. Team Latvia is going to come home in 11th. Aldis Pateklis and Andrus Slissans bringing Car 666 home in 11th. Undycar Racing Team in 12th with the CMR teams, Green and Black, finishing in 13th and 14th. Subaru Racing heartbreak for those they were in the top 10 but uh, unfortunately a crash at the end robbing them of a classified finish they'll finish in their uh, 15th position velocity motorsports magazine racing we saw them running in the top three early on but they're gonna have to settle for 16th road bastards finishing in 17th with dog bear rpdm in 18th valkyrie sim racing and atomic sim racing running at the top 20. and we go into the hard luck stories dog bear green do finish the race in 21st position.